Beyond Our World is a realm of darkness, where space and time have no meaning, where up is down, down is up, and cats lie with dogs. A dominion that is home to Martin Van Buren, a creature spawned by a zombie vampire father and a mother who was half werewolf, half Dutch. A being who can hide under a shadow, who feasts on the souls of fat children, and has an unusually strong aptitude for grassroots political organizing. These are the stories we use to scare our children when they won't brush their teeth or sew faster. But shocking new evidence suggests that Martin Van Buren actually might have existed, that he walked the earth, eating our food, breathing our air, playing our banjos. A nightmare become real life. Join us now as we investigate Martin Van Buren. Myth or legend? We know the tales. Martin Van Buren, an impish goblin-like creature with command of the dark arts. He traveled the earth, striking horrible bargains with mortals, spinning straw into gold, offering them adjustable rate mortgages with no down payment, always at the price of one delicious baby. His legend persists even today. So, dead of winter, upstate New York, and I get off my shift at Hot Topic like 4 a.m., and I'm walking home through this like rural alleyway. And uh, all of a sudden, out of the trees, I hear this noise. It's like a bird having sex with, like, a blender. And out of the tree drops this thing. It's like five and a half feet tall, and it just starts mauling me. It's covered with hair, and it's just mauling me about the face and the neck and uh, screaming in some Dutch accent about how we got to lower tariffs to uh, ensure economic stability. And, you know, yeah, I've been drinking, and I had a little bit of PCP, but I don't think they had to deny my workers' comp claim. Mysterious attacks. Unexplained pregnancies, the forced relocation of the Cherokee Indians and the start of the Federal Reserve System, all attributed to the dark magics of Martin Van Buren. And yet here in Kinderhook, New York, locals insist that Van Buren was born, born on this site. Born! Not hatched from some sort of a giant egg sack like most Dutchmen. And that apparently is not all. They also say that Van Buren was in fact human and 8th President of the United States. <laughs> but, you know, if he were President, wouldn't I have heard about that in 17 years of public school? And, and if he existed, you know, wouldn't someone have captured him by now? Steals gold, like we do with pandas. Photographic evidence is blurry, and the drunken locals are suspect, to say the least. The primary evidence? Lindenwald, this house on a potato farm which locals insist was owned and lived in by Van Buren for more than 20 years. There may be something to their claims. Legend has it, if you stand this close to the building, close your eyes, you can hear on the winds the screams of the innocent. I mean, there's no wind right now. Um, but I mean, earlier there was like a light breeze before we started shooting and you could it sounded like someone stubbed their toe or had a paper cut. Pretty bad one. Like deep. Why wouldn't Martin Van Buren own a farm? With that kind of space, you could have holding pens for babies. You could construct an underground altar to your dark lord. You could have corn on the cob whenever you wanted. But was it actually Martin Van Buren, the mythical creature, that owned this farm? Yes, he was the eighth president. Or was it an enterprising local who discovered a diamond mine on the site, then pretended to be Van Buren to scare people off? Are you f***ing stupid? The answers to these mysteries could be right here at Kinderhook Reform Cemetery, where underneath that granite obelisk, someone or something allegedly named Martin Van Buren is allegedly buried. The cemetery denied our request to exhume the remains, saying that we needed a reason, which makes us wonder, what are they hiding? 
the world may never have the answers. And so the legends will live on, sailing forward into the mists of our imagination, gripping us for centuries to come as we try to answer the question, Martin Van Buren, myth or legend? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what, what's that? Uh, he's got a Wikipedia page. Son of a bitch.